Richard Daly was a phenomenon in Chicago, but people in San Francisco or in the East Coast just would hear his name on occasion, didn't really know about him until the 1968 convention in Chicago, when suddenly Chicago itself and, uh, and Richard Daly were headline news, uh, television news every night, and in general, the rest of the country, especially among the young, had a very negative reaction to Daly's handling of that whole situation in Chicago. Well, How does that look to you now in hindsight? What became of the reaction? Daly won at the end, didn't he? What became of the reaction of the so-called disbanded minority we have in this country? What became of the business people, professional people, religious people, professional people, public official, Democrats and Republicans? Nobody lost confidence in Daly. Matter of fact, the record shows that he was being elected and re-elected six consecutive terms as a mayor of Chicago, a bigger and bigger majority, the first time in the history of Chicago. Does that mean that the man was no good because a few disgruntled creatures say that the man made mistake because he didn't let the city of Chicago go to the dogs because some rebel rousers come in? I give him a credit. That's the man I like. And far as the machine, the so-called machine's concerned, what is the machine? What does this machine consist of? This machine is consists of men and women, young and old, of all ethnic group, all uh, religious background, all racial group. That's the machine that elected Daly and the Democratic Party in the city of Chicago for over a century. You call that a machine? Machine composed of human beings? Machine that go to church with their fellow men and women? Machine that go to wedding, that go to wakes, and go to social affairs, civic affairs? You call it a machine? And the disgruntled creatures that try and destroy this country? You call them human beings? I call them animals. Is that, uh, was that Daly's attitude about, uh, about well, the protest Well, if he didn't talk as clear as I did because he, he was mayor of Chicago, but don't question my mind, that was his attitude. Let me call your attention some. I was born in Italy, and I came in this country when I was 12 years old. And I ran around Halstead and Taylor Street in the community where every four or five square blocks I had an ethnic group. Sado Roosevelt were Jewish, and Roosevelt to Taylor were Bohemian and Poles. Taylor to Polk were Italian, and Polk to Harrison were Ger uh, Irish. West Halstead were German. And we are all had a tough time. We didn't have no freedom like we have today in this country. The Italian, they call us Dego, the Jewish, the Sheeny, and the, the Irish, the Turkeys, and the German, uh, Dutch, and all that stuff, all <coughs> kind of names. What did we do? Did we take the law in our own hands and try and destroy life and property? Did we go to the, the American government and say, learn the way I live in Italy, or the way I live in Germany, or the way I live in France or England? Mm -hmm. We struggle our way of life to learn the American way of life because we wanted to be a good American. It had been disgrace in those days if my mother and father, or your mother and father, or a brother or sister had to go on welfare. Today, they want everything for nothing without working. And if they don't, then they demand. And they demand they don't get it, they try and set a fire or killing or something like that. Does anybody know what Hyde Park was 25, 35, 40 years ago? Best community in the city of Chicago. Does anybody know on the west side of Chicago on Douglas Park and Garfield Park or know what it was 20, 30 years ago? It was the gardens part of the city of Chicago. Who made these communities? Well, what did happen? Why is it that the buildings are burned out and the because garbage the, is piled in the streets? Because the people make it that way. The people who live in this community make it, not the city of Chicago, the city administration. We're trying to give, I remember when I was a war superintendent the streets. We used to clean the alleys maybe once 
every 10 days or once every two weeks. And the alleys were cleaning what they are today. We clean once a week and once and twice a week. And the alleys were always clean, the streets and alleys clean what they are today because the people help them make it clean. Is the uh, services, the services is good for street cleaning, garbage and so on? The south side of Chicago is there on the north side, is that? The service is 100% better today than we had 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the streets 30 years ago were 100, streets and alleys were 100% cleaner what they are today now who but i mean today i mean today do the, is the same kind of service provided in the in the south chicago yes, areas is yes. provided in the north as Better. much garbage they get service twice a week around that steady sure why well why is that i mean you, you've had 60 years in politics to watch you can this take shape. a horse why is the that them, but you can't force them to drink why is it that people won't drink i mean well, why, why, uh, why is that then they want something for nothing, and they're lazy, they're not aggressive, and that's the answer.